Okay, here we go. Here's a, a requested video. The uh, little closer detail on this hoist. So, this hoist was on the truck when I bought it, <clears throat> but uh, I think it's just kind of like a cheap little Harbor Freight uh, hoist. I've had to do a couple of things to it. It's just bolted down to the bed there and come up, added this support in here, which allows it to lift quite a bit more. I had the small little um, cylinder that was on here that went from here to here. I actually overloaded this thing and broke it. So I've done a little fabric cobble crappy little weld job here, but it holds. And I added this piece in there because I could not find that size with the, the little clevis on the bottom. I couldn't find that cylinder anywhere. So fabric cobbled this together and got this eight ton, which this lifts pretty slow now. I'll uh, hop down to the ground and show you that. It's kind of drags along there, but it it turns just fine now. You know, if you got a big log, it still turns good. This has a oh, it's somewhere in here. This has a grease dirt. Actually, I think I might have broke the grease dirt off. And need to replace it. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's right there. I snapped it off last time, but you pump that full of grease. Then there's a pin here. And that's what gives you the, the main swivel up and down. Comes out here, has these tiny draining. This is inaccurate. This is actually closer to the thousand pound because it had a crappy little roller. I don't know what I ever did with that roller for the cable to run through here. So I cut that off and bought one of these cheap little blocks and cut the, the hook off up here, welded it in here so I have a nice greasable block for it to run over. I uh, run the cable just out here and I just shoved it in a set of tongs. And then this had like a hand crank boat winch I like to load their boat when I got it. And I just put this cheap little 3,000 pound, uh, it's like a four wheeler winch. Bought it on the Amazon or eBay, one or the other. There's a million of them out there. I think I only paid like 60 bucks for it. And then it has wireless control. Downside to this, where it might be better buying a better winch, is this is your control box. Ah, okay. I just noticed it had a crack in it. Um, that maybe that's what's <laughs> what happened this time. But right after I got it, the relay for the out quit working, and I replaced it, and the outs quit working again. So I got another one. I'll uh, I'll try and remember to make a video when I replace it. I'm not gonna mess with that today. Got a few other projects on the go, but. Uh, that's the basics of it. And I'll hop down here. This is the in out. This is the out. And uh, this is just your standard jack setup. This just has a little clevis down here and just drill the hole, and put a large bolt in there. Did the uh, same thing up there. This is the, the factory one. And this, now this has a more laid out angle than the, the short stock one. So it lifts slow. It has lots of power, but it's a slow go. But you can actually uh, lift up on this and then pump this way faster. I actually have a upgrade in mind for this thing I actually got like a 12 volt hydraulic pump that's kind of like the one that people will use to make their uh, like a dump bed I 
actually got one of those from my cousin and I'm thinking about putting a short hydraulic cylinder right in there so that's you know much, much quicker and either wireless or plug a remote in or I'm half tempted to put like a little control box there or something and off it goes and, you know I just routed those power lines down and up through a fuse into the battery and that's the uh, the basis of the winch um, I don't have it on me I uh, this was a, a requested video so by all means if there's something else you wish to know or see um, send me uh, you know either comment or you can feel free to email me at any time um, let's see my email address is Wild build tree service at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.